sure why people decided to drop stuff for Indians at like yeah, three like, or what, uh, four three in, in the morning. morning. <laughs> Just kind of weird. Just- Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button. And uh, we filmed earlier today. We did. Uh, for our normal reactions. You can see all those on Patreon today. So shout out to Patreon. Um, but then two trailers uh, dropped in the middle of the day for us, which is very nice. I mean, one of these is a... Uh, one of these is a Hollywood trailer. It just yeah. happens to have a big uh, Indian actress in it. So that one makes more sense. Right. But, but and then there's another one. Uh, but today we are doing a reaction to the trailer for the one that just dropped of Heart of Stone, the Gal Gadot uh, film with the one and only Ali Abad. And being the Ali Abad fanboys that we are. It's we true. We get to a very excited for her. Uh, I believe it's her Hollywood debut. I believe you are correct. Um, a lot of people know. I guess the probably thing that most people in Hollywood have probably seen her in is RRR. Uh, yeah, which is probably the most prominent thing that they've probably seen her in. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know much about this outside of I, I obviously heard about it when they, she was announced that she was in it and how exciting that was to be in a, a film with a, a big actress uh, like Gal Gadot. Yeah. Um, who uh, it's. It's she's definitely going to be the best actress in it for sure. <laughs> I don't mind Gal Gadot. I don't think she's bad, but I like Gal Gadot. Uh, Alia's on a different level. It, I'm just well, well, yeah, based on what we've seen, yeah, we just I haven't had an opportunity to watch Gal do anything where she can sink her teeth into it the way we, we've seen some roles that Alia can sink her teeth into. They're great roles. Anyways, I don't know what this is about uh, either. I don't know. If, uh, let's see. Looks like Gal Gadot's agent, Rachel Stone, mm. the only intelligence operative who stands between her, her global peacekeeping organization, and the loss of its most valuable and dangerous asset, the heart. Mm. I don't know what that means. Uh, all right, ready? I don't either. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. You know what you signed up for? No friends, no relationships. What we do is too important. It's better be better than when Citadel. governments fail, the only thing left is the charter. The most highly trained agents. It's a bigger operation. No political leanings. What's with all the speculation? No national allegiances. Time to make a statement. Working together to keep peace in a turbulent world. Time to free my mind and limitation. How many in the welcome party? Six of them. Finish the majors, that's my form of reparations. They said you can't slide your interest in the nation. Cool. I like that. Nine. Hardly seems fair. She developing a sense of humor. Hey! All right. Ali, a better be in this uh, trailer. This is what gives the charter its power. We can crush the market or drop a plane out of the sky. If you own the heart, you own the world. This is what I mean. Jeff, I need your help. This is what I Starting mean. exit route. We've been breached. Hey! What's happening? Our systems are offline. We've lost the heart. And now you answer to me. Nice. Is she the villain? Yeah. You're compromised. <laughs> Don't know if you can be trusted. I'm standing you down, Rachel. I don't care. We have no idea what they're capable of. I need to shut it all down. Showtime! This is what I'm doing. I'm in charge of the low stars on my name and cherry. They want to see the Michael that they see on TV. You should not be out of the you never read it. You think you know everything, but the world is about to see the truth. This is safe, they know it's in heart or no heart. They don't deserve you. I'm coming for you. Chance of success just plummeted. Only because you've got no imagination. This is what, this is what, this is what I'm 
Tom Cruise would have done that stunt himself. Looks pretty dang good. I'm in. Looks pretty dang good. Yep. Ali is the villain? I was actually going to say, before the thing started, I hope she is the antagonist in this thing. That's fantastic. I love it's, it. But it's super interesting because she still looks like little unassuming <laughs> Ali. I know. So what's the what's the character here? Is it is she like just a hacker? Is she like just I don't know I don't know because she she seems very unassuming, which is uh, which is great. I mean, it's she it, it kicks all the stereotypes out the window and it turns into uh, the good girl versus the bad girl. I yeah. love it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I, I have no doubt that she can. Uh, completely pull it off oh, 100%. Uh, I wonder how because um, obviously I know she speaks fluent English and very well but I wonder I, has she done a film where she acted fully in English uh, and how different that might have been acting wise because she's probably very used to acting more in, in that setting in, in Hindi of course um, and so I'm wondering it'd be interesting to talk I would love to obviously talk to Alia but um, yeah, I don't know it's probably not difficult because you know she's speaks very well fluent she's English. Very, she's I'm not, fluent. Yeah. I'm not not saying it's like hard for her to speak English. I'm just wondering if like she's used to that setting in her acting in Hindi and now she's like the entire thing is is English. I'm wondering if that was a, a flip a switch thing for her in, in yeah. her mind. Her work mind probably works in Hindi, I, I'd imagine. Yeah. I mean, at this point, she's so it's interesting. It probably is that way. Um, I know in Drani, there will be times where she's trying to go for a word, and obviously the word that's coming to her mind is the Bengali word. But the fluidity of thought, I'm sure, is not a challenge. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I don't think that at all. I'm just, I, I, my, if if this is her first full English film, like everything's in English. If um, if it was like a little different for her than it normally is in her, her normal work setting. But I mean, she looks cool. I'm glad she's the villain. I'm super excited for that. Me too. Um, Cause I mean, the closest we've seen her to a villain, I guess would be the Gungabai uh, last year, right? Where she played yeah. the, kind of the, and it's not really a villain, but she was kind of a, a grayish character, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and, but yeah, I've, she saw the, the fieriness in Gully Boy. You've seen, um, that is, we haven't seen her in anything where she's the bad guy, right? Not to my knowledge. Because I, I wonder if she actually liked it. Because I mean, unless you want to consider the Darlings one, no, not not, not, not really. really. No, but I, I'm wondering if she likes that because in India they're gonna pitch her heroine roles in in terms of like she's the main good guy or, or gray or whatever she probably doesn't get pitched a lot you're gonna be the villain in this i want i, I wonder because I, I don't know uh but i love it because if if it if it goes well people will be exposed to ali Abbat, and that opens a door because uh, it doesn't look like it's just the indian side character that you know is stereotypical like when indians are like I, I, there's never a good role for me over here why would i go to hollywood when i have perfectly great roles that i'm offered here every single day um, it looks like it's at least a pretty substantial, hopefully, more than Pankaj had in uh, Extraction. Yeah, uh, no, it looks like she's the bad guy. Hopefully more than Pankaj had in Extraction. Yeah, I think the oh. trailer made it clear she's the bad guy. But it is Netflix again. So, but it wasn't Extraction Netflix? Um, I believe it was. So is this getting a theatrical distribution as well? Because Netflix will do that. They just don't do it a lot. Let me see. I will go back. Nope, it's on Netflix, August 11th. Okay. It's, not get, it's not getting theatrical. Watch it while you can. <laughs> Rick has a, a vendetta against Netflix right now. Yeah, uh, I, I, I really detest what the company's doing. Yeah, uh, but it looked cool. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for Alia. I'm excited for her, for her debut into Hollywood and for people to uh, be like, I want people, I want this to be so good and her performance to be like, whoa, who's this actress? What else has she done? And then they start exploring Indian cinema and how great that would be. Yeah, Anyways, and, all, and the, the millions of Indians that are here to, to watch it and, and support it as well because anybody that's here that is an Indian would know who she is. So. Yeah, 
Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer. If you're excited, down below. Just